For you. Who's your best friend when you're at home alone? McGruff! <laughs> Thanks. I'll always be your friend and I'll always tell you the right things to do. But your best friend when you're home alone is you. You and your phone. But you gotta be phone smart. When you're home on your own, you're never alone. When you got the phone, the telephone. Hello? Here's how to be phone smart. Have your parents make up a list of all emergency numbers for you and, and keep it by the phone. Then practice using the phone with your parents. That means you sit down with them and you show them you know how to phone them at work or wherever they are. Show them you can call a relative or a neighbor you trust. Show them you know how to call the police and how to call the operator for help. You know, that's really being phone smart. Phone smart. Every kid should be phone smart. When you and your parents are apart, you got to be phone smart. Phone smart. Now's the time for you to start to get phone smart. Phone smart. When you're home on your own, you're not home alone. If you've got a phone and your phone smart, just take a little while and learn to use the buttons or dial. Then anybody that you need, you can reach with lightning speed if you're phone smart. If you're not sure just who to call, that's no problem at all. Be a hero and dial zero. Operator, may I help you? The operator will help you. Tell her what's wrong, then just give her your name, address, and phone number. Hey, you know your whole name, address, and phone number? Good. If not, learn it. That's being phone smart. Phone smart. Ahem. Ahem. Everyone ready for our sing-along? Ready! gonna sing the right and wrong song so clap your hands and sing along loud and strong you tell me which one's right and which one's wrong here's how clap your hands once for right like this and twice for wrong like this that's right you got it in 1917 Columbus sailed the ocean green in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Right here! Yeah. <laughs> Just testing, but this is for real. When you're home alone, should you use the phone? Right, yeah! Right. Use the phone to tell your folks you're home and use it for emergencies. All right, next. When you're home alone and somebody knocks, should you be polite and open the locks? Oh, no. Never open the door unless it's someone your parents say is okay. When you're home alone and there's a smoky smell, should you run out the door and start to yell? Right, yeah! You bet. 
Don't look for smoke. Don't use the phone. You're on your own. Get out and yell for help. When you're gonna walk far, should you go alone and see how it feels to be on your own? It sure is. Stay out of trouble, travel double instead. It's always better when you plan ahead. Now listen to this. If you're offered drugs free and you don't have to buy it, do you really think you ought to try it? Wrong! No way, Jose! Why does he want you to take a try? He just wants to hook you. That's really why. Okay, okay, that's enough. All you kids know the right stuff, so stick with McGruff and hang in tough. Okay, Melissa, I'm going to put you right here next to Honey Bun. She's your favorite teddy bear. You know, yeah. sometimes Kim likes being home tea. alone. She can have a quiet tea party with her dolls and scooter her cat. This day was different. Kind of scary. Scooter, stop playing with your cup. Where are your manners? Now you sit down and behave yourself. Who's there? Package for Peterson. Thank you. Just leave it there. Uh, no, you have to, uh, sign for it. Uh, you have to open the door. The door's locked. Just leave the package. You have to open the door. Come on now, or you'll get in trouble. Hurry up. Kim got a little scared, but she used her head. She phoned next door. Listen. Hello? Mrs. Garcia? This is Kim. There's a man who wants me to open the door. He wants me to sign something. Open up. Don't open it. I'll be over right away. I'll try to get his car license number. Kim, dial O for operator and ask her to call the police. You're in there, kid. Now open this door. This package is important. It's for your parents. Operator. Operator, I'm home alone and a delivery man says I have to open the door. Would you call the police, please? Yes, now give me your name address and phone number first your name kim peterson and your address kim number 37 apple tree this is garcia got to kim's house in no time hey you wait wait a minute hey you're not a delivery man you don't even have a package it's in my car um uh, it's uh, some something i i gotta go now how does the story end the police tracked the man down because Mrs. Garcia gave them his car license number. He has a police record. He was identified by kids he had bothered. He'll be away for a long time. Now, this story tells you how important it is for you not to let anyone in when you're home alone, unless it's someone your folks say is okay. And you should have a neighbor like Mrs. Garcia, somebody you can phone if anything goes wrong. Wasn't Kim smart to know her full name, address, and phone number? Do you know yours? Practice it with your parents, just in case you ever have to phone for help. Wish 
Mudrock lived in our neighborhood, Mudrock. I'm part of every neighborhood that takes a bite out of crime. That's my job. That's what I do all the time. And if you listen to everything I tell you and learn how to take care of yourself, well, you know, that's like having me right there. I'll be there for you because I care for you. He'll be there for me because he cares for me. He'll be there for me when I'm home all alone. Think of me when you use the phone. He'll be there in the neighborhood. I'll be there like a good friend should. He'll be there for me because he cares for me. Think of me when the going gets rough. He'll pull me through because he's my gruff. I'll be there from beginning to end Helping me to be my own best friend Think of me and I'll be there for you We love you, McGraw start very, very small. Really, really small, like nothing at all. But it's sad, very sad, when little things, just little things, grow bigger and bigger and bad. And what do we mean when we say little things grow bigger and bigger and bad? Well... Did you ever find a guy that you knew? Belong to your mother, not you. And you said to yourself, it's as simple as this. I just took a dime, my mother won't miss. It's only a dime, no big deal. But ask yourself, how did it feel? Then ask yourself, what would you do if that little dime was a dollar or two? You see, most bad things start very, very small. Really, really small, like nothing at all. money away Cause they think where it's left it will stay They said to me should you just let it be And they said to me should Don't you agree? When your family leaves coins around They think the money's safe and sound They don't put it under lock and key That's not how families are supposed to be so what do you do if you take in some money? You feel kind of sticky and kind of funny. The only way to feel right and feel good is to do what you know you really should. Put it back. Just leave it there. Put it back. You know where. Put it back. And what happens then? It's over and you'll feel good. say it's only a dime.
No drugs, not you. You can climb a hill and be king. You can have it all, everything. If you just stay clean. Stay the way you are. You can be what you want to be. You can do your thing, happy and free. If you just stay clean. Clean, it's the only way. You can own the moon and the stars. You can spend your weekend on Mars. If you just stay clean. You don't need drugs, uh-uh. Just say no, uh-uh. Say no, no, no! You're gonna be okay, kid. I mean it. There's nothing you can do, nothing you can be. Nothing can stop you, wait and you'll see. If you just stay clean. 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 Hi, boys and girls. It's your old friend McGruff, the crime dog. Let's talk about a crime that's committed by somebody with a match. Just a match. The crime is called arson. Arson is when a person sets fire to a building on purpose. Now, if you ever see anyone try that, tell a grown-up right away. The first sign of arson or any other fire is usually smoke. Now, if you're home alone and you smell smoke, remember this. Smoke from a fire can be just as dangerous as the fire itself. Smoke can creep up on you and make you unconscious. Smoke is sneaky. Don't take chances with it. One, two, three, four. If you smell smoke even just a little whiff, get out. Get out. Don't take another sniff, get out. Get out. Don't stop to pick the phone up, get out. Get out. Get out and tell a grown-up, get out. Get close to the floor, get out, get out, get right out the door, get out. Out, out, out. And shout about it, get out. Out, out. Tell the neighbors all about it, get out. Out, out, out. And shout about it, get out. Out, out. Tell the neighbors all about it. And if there's no fire, you can still feel cool. Think of all the fire drills they have at school. Hey, even when they don't smell smoke. Got the message? Okay. Let's play the I Smell Smoke game. I'm going to ask you some questions. Number one, when you smell smoke, should you try to find it? Find it? Never mind it. Get out there. Number two, when you smell smoke, should you try to use the phone? Use the phone. Leave it alone. Get out fast. Number three, when you smell smoke, should you try to put it out? Put it out. Get out. Get out fast. You still here? Get out! Get, get out, out fast and don't stand, stand still. still. Remember, Remember it's smart, smart to have a fire drill, drill. so get, get out. out. Get out fast, get out. Get out fast, get out. I said get out fast, get out. Move it out, get out. Fast, get out. Get out. 